Hello! Today we're going to talk about phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are fundamental to understanding and speaking English. But wait, what is a phrasal verb? It's when we take a verb like get, go, talk, and we follow it with a preposition. A preposition like in, at, for, for example. And it changes the meaning completely. For example, let's take the word get. Get means to take. I get the pencil. But if I put the preposition in after get, it means something completely different. For example, get in means to enter, to go inside. For example, get in a car. Get in the house. Selena, I said get in the house right now. Get in the truck. Get in the car. Hurry up, get in the car. To get in the building, we have to avoid seven exterior cameras and six doormen who work at two entrance points and rotating shifts. How did you get into my building? So repeat, please get in the car. Perfect. Okay, here is another example. The verb look means to watch something with your eyes. Like now, I am looking at you. Well, I'm looking at the camera actually. But if we combine look with the preposition for, it changes. To look for something is to try to find. Oh no. Where is my pencil? I'm, I'm looking for my pencil. Oh. There's my pencil. So repeat, I'm looking for my pencil. Excellent. Okay, one more example. The verb to put is this. I put the glasses in my hand. I put the glasses on my eyes. Put. But what happens if we simply say put on? We use put on for clothing. For example, this morning I put on my polo shirt. I put on my pants. I put on my shoes. And now I'm putting on this hat. And now I'm going out. Bye bye. Hey, whoa, <laughs> too close. Well, thank you for watching my video. And if you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing. Or is it subscribing and liking. I, I can never remember, but you are clever. You can figure it out. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you here at Chameleon English. Bye-bye.